Hi, all you SPMEs out there. Today's question has three answers, and you're going to want to stick around because the third answer is a secret as to one of the top problems that self-publishers have when publishing on Google Books. So let's get into it. Today's question that was sent in was how to self-publish on Google Books. And this is an excellent question because when we're getting started publishing, there are so many places that we can put our books. And then we're trying to figure out which ones are the right ones. And when we do decide Google Books is the place that we want to go, we want to know exactly how to do this without the hassle. There is nothing worse than getting started with self-publishing at a particular location only to discover that as you do it, it gets more and more difficult, where the pain associated with the hassles with trying to get it out there and learning the skills that are necessary create a barrier where you end up not even getting the book onto the market at all. And that is what we're going to hit today. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like for me to make more videos like this one and check out below in the description and you can find my absolutely free self-publishing checklist to help you get started with your self-publishing today. So before we get going directly on Google Books, I wanted to comment on something that's very similarly related and a lesson that was very important for me from $1,000 to $0. And what, what it was was when I was finding the easiest places or places where you could make money with self-publishing, one of the key places was ACX Audible. That is taking your books, even short books that are only 20 minutes long in audiobooks and putting them onto ACX Audible where people could buy them and they could listen to the ideas that you were passing on. Whether you're dealing with a short story or nonfiction like I personally like to do, that it doesn't matter because you would put the books out there and particularly in the nonfiction because people would search for it. They'd want a quick answer where they could get in and get out and listen in that bite-sized book. And the beauty was is that people who never even knew you would buy your book for the first time and they maybe through a Google search, for example, and they would absorb your book. And what would happen would be if they were the very first purchase on ACX Audible, then ACX would give you a bounty. And so what happened was, is that you would get a $50 bounty. But then I was making 20 bounties a month on my different books. I was finding audiences who had never actually uh, seen or, or listened or to an audiobook through Audible or ACX Audible. And as a result, they were giving me a reward for finding those people. But I wasn't actually finding them. It was them finding me through perhaps a Google search or on Amazon. And they were had never listened to an audiobook. And they were like, yeah, this seems like a great idea. And so that was fantastic. Like most things, you, you start seeing $1,000 a month coming in. And you're thinking, this is wonderful, except for one huge problem. It was that ACX then changed its rules and said, oh, look, we're going to do you such a favor and we're going to raise your bounty to $75, except the only bounties you can get are the ones that would go through your link to your book. So you would have a list, a link, a special link, and only the ones that clicked on that affiliate link of yours and then purchased your book would actually be rewarded with that $75 bounty, meaning you would have to find them all as opposed to with Google where we have a search engine. They look for a phrase on puppy training, for example. They click on a link before they know it. They're an audible. They set up an account and they buy a very inexpensive book and you get $50. Now you had to make sure they would use your link. And virtually all self-publishers that I'm aware of quit making money then. Bounties went from being making, for me it would be a thousand, some people were making $10,000 a month down to zero or very little because you would have to directly drive that traffic. And if you were already in touch with the person, they may be a person who's already listening to audiobooks. And so if they use your link, you get absolutely nothing. And so the, the funny part of it was that Amazon thought that this was such a benefit. So they, they saw it as a benefit to the authors of saying, oh, look, we're going to increase the bounty to $75, though functionally they cut all of the bounties they were giving out simply by changing this little tiny rule. And this was an important lesson, uh, which was that 
you need to diversify, diversify, diversify. And that is a incredible point because Amazon or these other publishers, Google, whoever, they can shut your account down when they want. They can change the royalty rates. Right now, Amazon, for example, on eBooks gives 70%. They can change that if they wanted to. And there's nothing you can do because you are sharecropping. You're borrowing other people's land in order to make money. And so this is a very, very important point. And that's the reason why I want to bring this up with relationship to Google Play Books because it is incredibly relevant if you're getting started there. So let's get into the answers directly related to Google Books. And the answer is, if you're going to get started and you want to know exactly how to do it, you're going to start with the Books Partner Center at play.google.com backslash books backslash publish. And this is where you will find the portal that will bring you in. Now you can't publish in all countries, so you're gonna to need to check to see if your country is covered here. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the steps. We're gonna create an account. You're gonna publish your book. You'll need your cover and your description and your, and your content of your book formatted correctly. You're gonna then promote your books and market them through the same portal, you can do it there. And you're gonna start earning. So this is pretty much the flow with most sites, but this is how you would do it through the Google Book route. Now, the thing that I don't appreciate, and that comes to our secret of the day, it is the downside of it, which is that you have to publish either directly or you can use an aggregator like Publish Drive, except they're going to charge you for the right to even put your books on there. And so that creates a challenge, whereas I personally like to use Smashwords. And so this is where it comes a little bit into the challenging part, which is Smashwords doesn't cover Google Books. So if you want to get your books on Google, well, then you're going to have to figure out a different way of doing it. You're going to have to either do it directly. And the downside of directly publishing is that you put your book out onto Google, but then it all that means you have to format it exactly for them. You have to upload it just to them. And then when the royalties come out, we have to file that with regards to taxes and bookkeeping for each of the lines of royalties, often where they come from different countries. And this can be a huge amount of work for maybe relatively few sales. But then again, Google's expanding this market and it is growing with regards to the number of people. It's so easy to buy a book on Google Books if you just simply log into the your people using Android or Google in general, and then it shows the books showing up pretty high towards the top. And this still, even with the hassle, because we can't use Smashwords and we have to directly do it or use Publish Drive, which will charge you, that we still may wish to do this because diversification is incredibly important, but you're going to have to weigh the balance here. And when we're trying to avoid the pain of the hassle, we have to also be careful that we do not step into the trap of thinking, I'm doing great on my audiobook version, so I don't need a Google version. And this is something you're going to have to weigh. You'll have to listen and talk to other authors, other self-publishers, and see if they're finding success with their Google books. And if so, within your niche, then it may be worth considering. But don't think that the answer is very straightforward because it can be a huge pain if you're going to go to all of the different sites and put your book individually on all of those sites. And that's the reason why I regularly push using an aggregator like Smashwords. So that's something you also are definitely going to want to consider here. So have you self-published on Google Books? If you have, write the word yes below in the comments. And if you have never done it, write the word no, so I know how I can better help you on future videos. And check up above me here to find other video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.